Hello there, my sweet friends, and happy Friday. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far as we head into the weekend. Thank you so much for dropping by to see what's new here at Cottage to Courtyard. Before we get into the video, I want to take a moment to clarify something. In my last video, which this is the thumbnail photo for it that you're seeing here, I showed you all how I decorated my French country buffet for Easter using high-end decor with low-end decor. I also stated that the decorating video was all about the bunnies and carrots because I used several of both in the vignette. Well, I received a comment from a very sweet subscriber stating that Easter is not all about bunnies and carrots. It's all about the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And yes, she is absolutely correct. But I am a Christian woman and did not, nor would I ever say or imply that the meaning of our blessed Easter holiday and season is all about the bunnies and carrots. What I did say and try to convey is simply that the darling vignette I created was all about the bunnies and carrots because I used several of both in the design, nothing more. All right, my friends, I hope this clarifies things a bit better. And please know that I never want to intentionally offend any one of you, my wonderful subscribers, because you mean so much to me. So thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. Now let's take a look at a shelf inside my armoire that I decorated for spring and Easter. I simply used things that I already had on hand in my stash, except for that cute carrot sign from the Dollar Tree on the top right. I also used terracotta pots, eggs, and carrots from the Dollar Tree, again mixing higher end with lower end decor for a fun and super cute look using only white, green, beige, and orange to keep the color palette and design simple and organic looking. As you can see, it's kind of dark inside the armoire in the one left side, so the white really brings light to this vignette. I have some fairy lights that I will be adding to it as well. Now my friends, let's take a look back at the rooster floral arrangement that I made a few weeks ago. When I showed it to you all in a video, I explained that I tried to only purchase and create things that can do double duty and can be used in more than one way here at the condo because of storage issues. I also talked about how you could remove the rooster and add a bunny for spring and Easter or perhaps a birdhouse for summer garden look, and so on. The possibilities are endless as to what you can do with your floral arrangements to refresh and renew them. Okay guys, here I removed the rooster and replaced it with this large ceramic bunny that I've had for a few years. It's a great size for this arrangement and I love the bunny's pose. He has a welcome sign hanging on his arm that I made when I purchased him, but that's not all I'm gonna do here to give it a new look for spring and Easter. What you're seeing here is a package of honeysuckle vines that I purchased at Desiree Industries thrift store for $3 and it's perfect for what I'm about to do with it. So I cut a piece about 40 inches long off of the bundle and added it to the arrangement to give it the look of an Easter basket handle, if you will. I just love the texture that it adds to this arrangement also. Then I used a scrap piece of lavender organdy ribbon that I had here on hand in my stash to tie a bow around the bunny's neck. And I also added lavender and green Easter eggs from the Dollar Tree to the moss in the front. See how the lavender ribbon and egg really subtly pulls the lavender flowers from the arrangement. So soft and pretty, I think. 
In this photo, I switched out the eggs and added a pink egg and a darker green egg for a different look. And lastly, I changed the eggs to a smoky lavender egg with the pink egg for yet a different look. And really, you can change the egg colors with whatever florals that you have in your arrangement and it will just enhance it even more. I am sure that some of you are wondering why there are no carrots in this arrangement. I intentionally didn't add any carrots to the arrangement because I didn't like the way the orange carrots looked with the pink roses. They kind of clashed, but you know what? I could put some antiquing wax on the carrots to tone them down a bit, and I bet they'd look great. I'll have to try that. Alright my lovelies, that'll do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found inspiration for creating a beautiful spring and Easter vignette for your home. I want to just tell you all how much I appreciate you and thank you for coming and spending time with me. Have a wonderful weekend. You all take care and I'll see you back here next week for more fun decorating here in Cottage to Courtyard. Bye bye friends.